NATO woke up to a quiet shock. Not from Russia, not from China, but from a sudden move by Rolls-Royce, the same British company known for luxury cars and commercial jet engines. Without fanfare, without headlines, Rolls-Royce quietly upgraded a fighter jet so effectively, it changed the balance of air power debates inside NATO overnight. This fighter, the Saab Gripen, long seen as the underdog compared to giants like the F-35 and Eurofighter. But what Rolls-Royce just did inside this aircraft has stunned military analysts, Pentagon planners, and even European air forces. Today, we uncover how Rolls-Royce quietly rewired the Gripen, boosted its performance, and created a geopolitical shockwave that NATO did not expect. Rolls-Royce didn't just upgrade an engine. Before we understand what Rolls-Royce did, we need to understand why the Gripen is unique. Unlike the F-35, which costs over $100 million per jet, unlike the Eurofighter, which requires massive logistics, the Gripen is designed for short runways, low maintenance, Arctic operations, high sortie rate, data-centric warfare. It's a fighter designed for actual war, not just air shows. But for years, critics said the same thing. The Gripen is good, but it doesn't have the raw power. That perception ended the moment Rolls-Royce stepped in, and NATO didn't see it coming. In late-stage development of the Gripen E program, a little-known partnership was activated between Rolls-Royce, GE Aviation, Saab. Rolls-Royce is a co-producer of the F414 engine, the heart of the Gripen E. But behind the scenes, Rolls-Royce engineers were tasked with something far more ambitious than simple assembly. They were asked to optimize, modernize, and re-engineer several subsystems of the F414 to match Sweden's extreme performance requirements. What began as a support contract quickly became one of the stealthiest upgrades in modern aviation history. NATO nations barely noticed, until the results started showing up in classified reports. Military sources describe four major upgrades Rolls-Royce delivered, each one subtle, but together, game-changing. 1. Thermal Signature Reduction Rolls-Royce reworked the engine's exhaust flow and cooling channels to reduce IR signature, stabilize heat output, mask Gripen E from IRST and SAM systems. This made the Gripen far harder to detect by Russian systems such as S-400 Pantsir S-1, Su-35 IRST. NATO analysts privately called this upgrade Smart Stealth. 2. Power Curve Optimization Rather than chasing maximum thrust, Rolls-Royce improved low-altitude acceleration, high-altitude fuel efficiency, mid-air maneuver power delivery. This rewired the way the Gripen responds during dogfights, high-G turns, missile evasion. Pilots described the change as like moving from manual transmission to dual clutch. 3. Electronic Control Algorithms Rolls-Royce quietly updated the FADEC system, the digital brain controlling the engine. This improved sensor fusion, timing, throttle responsiveness, radar sync, EW power allocation. This allowed the Gripen E's Arexis EW suite to operate at full power without degrading engine performance. That was never possible before. 4. Extreme Reliability Upgrade Gripen E is designed to operate from icy Swedish roads. Rolls-Royce increased engine tolerance for foreign object ingestion, rapid temperature shifts, field-level maintenance, one-crew serviceability. This cut downtime by up to 40% compared to older models. NATO fighter wings were stunned. Foreign object ingestion, rapid temperature shifts, field-level maintenance, one-crew serviceability. This cut downtime by up to 40% compared to older models. NATO fighter wings were stunned. The Gripen wasn't supposed to compete with the F-35. Now, it was quietly outperforming it in several mission profiles. Here's where the geopolitical shockwave hit. Traditionally, European air forces rely heavily on American engines, American avionics, American weapons policies. Rolls-Royce just helped Saab prove Europe can build a high-end fighter without U.S. dependency. NATO leaders were stunned because the upgrades unlocked capabilities like electronic warfare dominance rivaling the F-35, super cruise-like performance under specific profiles, S-400 evasion improvements, cheaper fly hour costs than any Western fighter, 
Suddenly, nations like Canada, Finland, Czech Republic, Philippines, Hungary started reconsidering their procurement decisions. This wasn't supposed to happen. The shock became real when Canadian defense analysts leaked a stunning evaluation. Gripen E with Rolls-Royce optimizations outperformed expectations in Arctic scenarios. Why does this matter? Because Canada operates with freezing temperatures, remote Arctic bases, long distance patrol, needs interceptor missions. The F-35 struggled in several of these areas. The Gripen excelled. Ottawa reportedly asked for a classified briefing on the Rolls-Royce upgrades. Pentagon officials began asking urgent questions. How did Rolls-Royce achieve this without U.S. oversight? Could Sweden bypass U.S. export controls using a British co-developer? Did NATO lose control of fighter standardization? Were allied nations about to defect from the F-35 program? Defense lobbies in Washington reportedly pushed back hard, warning, if Canada chooses Gripen, other nations will follow. Whew. The Gripen suddenly became a threat. Not militarily, but politically. The U.S. fears losing decades of dominance in NATO fighter sales. <laughs> and Rolls-Royce just tilted the balance. What Rolls-Royce actually rewired wasn't only the engine. They rewired the fighter ecosystem. They enabled a non-American jet to challenge U.S. dominance. A European nation to compete in electronic warfare a cheaper aircraft to rival the world's most expensive program. NATO power dynamics shifted. Rolls-Royce created a new category, elite performance without elite cost. The Gripen now represents independence, efficiency, survivability, modular upgrades, zero political strings attached. That's the shock NATO didn't expect. The world is entering a new era where massive defense spending doesn't guarantee superiority. A stealthy, efficient, electronic warfare beast, built by Sweden, powered by Britain, free from U.S. control, is rewriting the rules. Rolls-Royce didn't just upgrade an engine. They helped create the most strategically liberated fighter jet in the Western world. And NATO now has to decide. Is this the beginning of a new multipolar aerospace era? Or the first sign that the F-35 monopoly is finally cracking? This was how Rolls-Royce quietly rewired the Gripen jet and shocked NATO overnight. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more deep dive defense analysis.